talking about movies. Um, I saw a movie over the uh, last, well, Easter weekend. It was called African Cats. And um, um, Samuel Jackson narrated it. It's a Disney film. It is absolutely wonderful. The photography, and you know, it's, they're real life lions and cheetahs in their habitat in Kenya. It is, oh, it's breathtaking. It really is. We ready? Hey everybody, it is Thursday Cinco de Mayo here on The Exchange. I am super excited. I wish we had a bowl of salsa on the table right now. It's one of my... No, you favorite. don't. You want margaritas. Uh, margaritas. <laughs> there you go, Dave. Take care of it. <laughs> we should have had a Cinco de Mayo sponsor today, but we don't. But we do have great sponsors nonetheless. We have the Ohio Neck and Back Pain Relief Center, Scott M. Gray, D.C., across from the Marion Center between PSC and Kroger. For further information, dial 740-386-6580. Night Owl Theater, located on the internet at www.fritzlives.com. For further information, email nightowltv at yahoo.com. And view Cyrus placemats. If you'd like to get your ad on a placemat, call Wayne Flyer, 419-562-8473, located at 116 Wayne Avenue in Bucyrus, Ohio, www.usirisplacemats.com on the net. It's going to be a fun Cinco de Mayo here today. But before we get in, before we get into the fun, we'll go to Charlie. No, we're going to go to Charlie as we do each and every day to kick off the fun with this day in history. Charlie. Well, speaking of Cinco de Mayo, you know, boy, we really celebrate that here. But you know, if you went to Mexico on this day, they wouldn't be celebrating at all. You'd say, what? Cinco de Mayo, what's that? But over here, well, it does commemorate the fact that uh, there were 40,000 French troops in 1862 that battled 10,000 Mexicans, and the Mexicans won. I think they put the French to sleep. But uh, anyhow, that was a battle of Puebla. But uh, in the United States, the breweries, the people that distill spirits thought, hey, this is a great excuse for a party. Let's have Cinco de Mayo and bring it on. That's it. <laughs> now, uh, Charlie, you know why they don't remember to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Well, they were kind of out of it. Too many margaritas. Yes. There you go. <laughs> and now we're going to head over for a great Cinco de Mayo movie. You know what? If you're not going out tonight, hey, it is Thursday night. You might want to stay in with your margarita, your bowl of salsa, your tortilla mm -hmm. chips, and anything else you might have today, burritos, tacos, all kinds of good Cinco de Mayo food. Here's the flick take, Fritz the Night Owl. Thank you, Scott. Well, tonight we've got a movie that is essentially called uh, a vehicle picture, where you have a star that's got a certain kind of personality and a wide range of talents, and they sort of build the picture strictly around what the guy's act is. Uh, the movie is called Knock on Wood from 1954, and the star was uh, Danny Kaye. Now, Danny Kaye was known as a singer. He had a rubber face. He could do voices. He could accents, he was uh, uh, a contortionist, he could flip and fall and sing and dance, he could do everything. So a lot of his movies were just uh, things put together as vehicles to show off the many talents of Danny Kaye, and they were always delightful, enjoyable, and worth watching. Uh, he had a TV show for a long time, made a lot of movies, and uh, in 1954 was given a special Academy Award for his contributions to film and the American people. Anyway, knock on wood, this one, he's a ventriloquist, and uh, for some reason, the, his dummy says things that the dummy shouldn't say at the wrong time. So Danny Kay goes to a psychiatrist to figure out, okay, why is the, why is the dummy saying these things? Maybe the dummy has, a, maybe the ventriloquist has a, a form of Tourette's syndrome that the dummy who uh, says these things and, and insults the crowd. So Danny Kay goes to the, um, psychiatrist who is Mai Zetterlin, beautiful blonde psychiatrist, the kind you should go to if you're gonna to go to a psychiatrist. 
And in the meantime, some spies have stolen plans for a super secret weapon, and guess where they hide them? You're right, they hide them in the dummy, which of course sets up the whole thing for the spies to be uh, chasing Danny Kay and the dummy and gives Kay a chance to get into all kinds of bizarro situations <laughs> like he ends up to elude the spies, he ends up as a dancer in the Russian ballet company. <laughs> Another time he falls into a convention of a partying Irishman and gets to sing one of his novelty songs. In a way, uh, this is a movie that has a lot of elements that uh, Alfred Hitchcock liked to use in his uh, movies. That is an innocent guy accused of a crime he didn't commit, which means that there are people can chase him all over the place and he meets a lady that he likes that somehow doesn't believe him. As I say, Hitchcock used these elements in quite a few of his films, and uh, while Hitchcock used them suspensefully, uh, the K people use them for humor. Knock on Wood is the movie, 1954, the year, the star Danny Kay, all was well worth watching. Thank you, Fritz. That sounds like a great movie. Danny Kay, a great, great talent. I think people have forgotten, sadly. Boy, he was great. One of the reasons I mentioned the movie and Danny yeah. Kay. Yeah, what a talent. He, he reminds me of all the people we've forgotten, uh, Arthur Godfrey and all these great oh, talents right. who people have no idea what we're talking about right now. <laughs> Who's Arthur Godfrey? Uh, but, you know, we need to move on today because it is Cinco de Mayo, and we plan, especially for you, the viewer, on this Cinco de Mayo to have the beauty doctor, Mary Beth Mudd, in to tell you about some new techniques going on, new things going on to make you look good for the television camera. Mary Beth, thank you for coming in. Thank you very much for having me. So for all of you guys who are out there and having great parties for Cinco de Mayo, and you do imbibe a little too much with your margaritas, or you have a little too much salsa and chips, we have some ways that we can take care of those pounds that you're gonna be putting on tonight and in, in the upcoming days. There is a great new thing out there called Zelti. It's the first and only non-invasive way to get rid of fat permanently. It's fat freezing. And people say, what a cool way to be able to get rid of fat. And literally, it is really cool. I happen to bring my device in today. So, Marianne, if you wouldn't mind, I'm going to have you stand up so I can kind of use you as the demonstrator. Not oh that you need my. this you at go, all. Marianne. But you're conveniently <laughs> located right next to me. Now, this is our device. I'm going to move this water here so I don't get it on somebody. And I'm gonna show that here for the camera. It is called the Zeltique. It is our new large device. We actually have some smaller ones because we can use this to treat several different areas. We can use this to treat fat on the abdomen, which is the, probably the most common thing that people will complain to us about. But we can also use it to treat the love handles that people get back here. And women always know what I mean when I talk about broth lab because broth labs, that's stuff that we have up here that sticks out under our bras and we don't like it. So what we're able to do, this end would attach to what basically is a great big refrigerator on wheels, but it's too big for me to bring today. <laughs> but this is the part that actually acts as a suction cup, and it's going to suck the fat up into this, this area, and then it's going to sit, the person's going to sit with it. So Marianne, I'm just going to kind of hold that up to you. So if you were the person being treated, we would put that on, and we would turn on the suction, it would bring in the, the, the fat area, that, which she doesn't have enough of. We didn't treat you in real life, but that's nice to know. But anyways, then we would push the button and we would literally start the cold. Now what's really interesting about this is people don't feel cold. They sort of feel the little pinching type feeling for a few minutes of the, of the suction. But they're just sitting here happy as clams in their, you know, in their little treatment uh, room and they can sit there and prop their feet up or you know, we have these nice lounge tables for them to sit on. And they're reading their books and they're watching their little um, you know, iPads, uh, movies, and they're sitting there on the, the, you know, the internet, you know, they bring their computers in or they take a nap even. I mean, it's quite comfortable, and the easiest way that I know of, of getting rid of fat permanently, you just sit there and let the, the fat melt away. Now, it gets rid of about, on average, about 25% of fat. However, with this new device that just came out a couple of months ago, we've actually had this FDA approved back in September of, t of last year. So we've been using it in my almost office almost a whole year. But with this new device, it just came out a couple of months ago, and we're finding that we're able, even able to get more than 25% of the fat frozen. We've frozen up to 40% of the fat at, at one point in the time. Now, people will say, who is a good candidate for this? And it has to be a person who's within 10 to 30 pounds of their ideal body weight, because we have to have enough fat to get into the suction cup, but if there's too much fat, we can't get it into the suction cup. So I do tell people, sadly, that if you're over that, we have other ways that we're able to kind of help that 
that little problem. Now, I tell patients that their job is to follow a good diet and good exercise program after we get done. And what will happen is literally this will freeze the fat. And we found that fat will freeze at a temperature that will be warmer than what will take to freeze skin or muscle. So we don't cause any kind of a frostbite injury with this. We just freeze the fat itself. And literally when the little machine comes off, if we had done this for real, Marianne would have a little lump of, of almost looking like little frozen hamburger uh, skin and fat kind of mounding up for about 10, 15 minutes, and then that goes down. And we, what we'll do is actually kind of massage it too to be able to make it go down. And we find that that also kills some of the fat. But it will literally freeze the fat molecules sitting within your fat cell. Your fat cells, think of them like storage units for fat. We actually get our fat cells when we're little kids. And so I tell people, we can permanently destroy them and you're not gonna grow new ones, which is a pretty cool thing. So we're gonna permanently destroy those. And then the body's just gonna recognize that that is a frozen cell, and it's gonna basically kill that fat cell, and then it's gonna send little immune system Pac-Man to eat up that fat cell. And it'll take about three months for it to go. Although most patients within about six to eight weeks will tell us, hey, you know, we can see that we're already getting smaller in whatever area we decided to treat. So it is really way too cool way of being able to get rid of our fat. Now, now Mary Beth, so this sucks the fat right through your skin? It's little, well, it doesn't suck it through the skin. Remember, this is non-invasive. So all it's gonna do is just draw that skin and the fat up into here. It won't hurt the, the skin but it will definitely apply enough cold temperature to the fat so that it's going to kill those fat cells. So it just destroys them. It just destroys them. And then the body is smart. It knows when you damage a cell and it's destroyed that we have to basically go get that out of there. Now how, how yeah, I have a lot of questions <laughs> it's here. It's pretty wild when now, you get how, to see it. <laughs> how, how much weight wise would this take off? You know, we don't worry too much about weight because fat's very fluffy. When you have fat, it takes up a lot of space, but it doesn't weigh a whole lot. I've had people where I will do laser lipo on them, which is another thing we can talk about, and we will take two or three buckets out of them, and they may only lose a pound or two of weight, but they'll lose three sizes of their clothes. So I always tell people one of the things you have to remember is fat is fluffy, it takes up lots of space, it looks bad, but it doesn't weigh a whole lot. If you take the, the say a piece of chicken, and you take the fat off the chicken, the fat doesn't weigh very much, but then when you feel the chicken breast or the chicken leg that you took the fat off, it definitely weighs a lot heavier because it's made out of muscle, and muscle weighs a lot. Mm. Marianne, what do you think about this? Well, I'm amazed. Uh, first of all, I can't think it's, if you freeze something, if it doesn't turn to water. <laughs> I mean, so that's... Well, and if it was water, then it would freeze and turn to icicles. But these are living cells. I mean, oh, they're living, living fat cells. So again, kind of use that analogy if you took a piece of chicken and you cut the fat off of it. That's basically what looks like inside of you. When we do surgery on somebody and we open them up and we go and look inside, there's a lot of yellow fat sitting inside of that person. And so that's what, you know, the kind of fat that we're trying to kill. It's the fat that sits in between the skin and the muscle. You can have fat at two different layers. It can be in between the skin and the muscle. So that's the kind of fat I tell people, you can grab it, you can kind of you know, take it and get it in your hands. You can also have fat that's below the muscle. That's what we call the deep fat. It's also known as visceral fat, or some people know it as belly fat or organ fat. Now that's the bad kind of fat because that's the fat that we definitely know in medicine has an association with problems such as diabetes and heart trouble. So we tell people that we can't do. That's gonna have to be the person's job good diet, basically high protein, low carbohydrate diet, and lots of exercise. But if we can grab it and it's sitting on top of the muscle, this is a great way of being able to treat it. Now the neat thing about this and why it was such a great finding for us to, to be able to have is that it, there's no downtime with it. So literally I have patients and they're sitting on this little machine and they come off and an hour or two later, they're sitting in the gym, they're lifting weights, they're doing their running, they're doing their swimming, they're in their aerobics class. We have moms who sit on this thing and they go home and chase after their children. So it's great. We have nothing else out there that gets rid of fat like this that has no downtime. And so the person just comes off the machine, they go back into their regular life. They don't have to let anybody know they were doing this because it's all kind of underneath of their clothes. And so it, it's pretty amazing. What's it called? This is called Zeltique Cool Sculpting. Zeltique is Z-E-L-T-I-Q. <laughs> and we were the first um, office in Ohio to have this type of, of technology. So it's pretty exciting. We've been treating patients now for almost a year. Are there any uh, precautions if you have a heart trouble, if you have diabetes, is there anything 
you can't have this done? Actually not, great question, but this really has very few people who can't do it. What I oftentimes will tell folks is, there is a condition out there called cryoglobulinemia. Now, if you live in Ohio, you're not gonna have cryoglobulinemia, because these are people who are allergic to cold. And literally, if you expose their blood to cold, it will clump up their blood and, and make it clot. So if you live in Ohio, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to have this problem. You move to Florida, you move out to, to Arizona or a place like that. Um, and we don't treat people who are pregnant. And of course, then the person still needs to be within about 30 pounds of their ideal body weight. Uh, that being said, we can treat diabetics. We can treat people with high blood pressure. We can treat people with heart conditions because we're not asking them to do anything. You know, we're not putting, you know, say, heat into them like a laser. We're not sucking things out that is going to cause a lot of bleeding or tissue damage. So this is very, very safe for people with chronic medical problems. In fact, we had a patient who came in from out of town who had multiple sclerosis. And this is a patient who was actually quite overweight. She did not meet the 30 pound requirement, but I felt so sorry for her and we had a long talk and she cannot exercise because poor lady was, was so unsteady on her feet from her MS that she'd go to stand up and somebody had to help support her. So we were really stuck because she can't exercise. She's trying really hard doing her, her diet, but she's just not getting a whole lot of, of, of help there. So we actually did treat her with this and she showed, came back in about four months and we did see that her fat did go down significantly. But it's not what we would typically treat that person. But she, she had no other options. Um, when we do cases like say laser lipo or traditional liposuction, you have to wear a garment. Well, she was not even strong enough in her arms to be able to put a garment on. So we were just not gonna be able to treat her tummy for any other reason. So I call that my humanitarian treatment. But it definitely worked for her. And she's definitely smaller and very excited and motivated to continue working on her diet. How much does it cost? There you go. There you go, and that's a very good question too. It kind of depends on how big of an area do we treat. So I tell people on average, we're probably looking around $1,500 to about $3,000, depending on how many places we have to put the mm -hmm. machine. We actually have this great big one, but we have one that's about the half the size of this. So if we have a small area, we're able to put it on. But then we would have to put, say, let's say we treat a love handle. I'd have to treat one side first, mm -hmm. then I'd have to treat the other side. I told the company what they need to do is get one that's got two heads so I can put one on each love handle at the same time and spend one hour and get those love handles. But it's not, not covered there. by insurance? It's not covered by insurance because, because this is considered something cosmetic. Mm -hmm. So, but that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, Mary Beth, what is this? This, this, this is, little tool here. This little guy is very interesting. If you had asked me 10 years ago, what could we do to make fat go away? The answer was liposuction. And a lot of people have seen liposuction on television or on the, the internet, and it's rather brutal. They're, un, you know, they're under yeah. general anesthesia, so there's some risks with the anesthesia. And people reported quite a bit of downtime. People would say they would miss anywhere from four to six weeks of their usual activities. They could go back to work, but they were very sore, were not able to exercise. Well, in November of 2006, the FDA approved laser lipo, and the first machine was called smart lipo, so some people will call it that, but I tend to use the, the correct name, which is laser lipo. And what it involved, this is actually our little laser fiber, and I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to get up close enough for us to be able to see that. Um, let's see here, let me, let me try to see if we can get that. But you can see it kind of pressing, pressing against my hand. Mm -hmm. This fiber, and then everybody around the table can sit there and vouch for this, this thing's no bigger than angel hair pasta. Mm -hmm. And so this is the fiber that we use. Oh, there you go, you can really see it good against the background now. And so what we are able to do is make a little tiny hole about the size of a ballpoint pen opening. And we do this in the office, so we don't have to go to the operating room, we don't have to put people to sleep. We make that little tiny hole uh, in the skin, and then we are able to put a little tube and put local anesthesia under the skin. So that's how we're able to do this and mm -hmm. keep the person awake. And then after they are all numb, then I'm able to put this little fiber in through the little hole, and the tip gets hot. And so what I'm gonna do is move the fiber wherever I have fat that I want to make go away. So this is a great way for us to be able to get fat to go away, even if it's in small areas. So you don't necessarily have to have a, a big area. I mean, we've done areas like turkey necks or the double chins that people absolutely hate. Uh, we've done the upper arms. We do lots of tummies. Tummies is always number one. We've done the uh, inner thighs and the outer thighs. We've done the love handles. We do that bra flab. Uh, some people don't like their knees. They say their knees look fat, and we've done their knees. Now, there's even some doctors in around the country who are now starting to do ankles. I haven't done my first ankle case yet, but it's coming. And so what we're able to do is melt that fat with this little tiny tip, but also the advantage over liposuction is this will create a lot of heat, and when you apply heat to skin, it tightens up. 
And so we're able sometimes to save people from having to do, say, a tummy tuck surgery. The problem we used to run into is we'd take all the fat out and then the skin was very loose. So now we're able to sit there and use the heat to tighten up the skin. So many times we can sit there and avoid having to do you know, a second surgery or a second procedure that would again have to go to the operating room and, and be put under to be able to do that. And then what we do is we take a little fiber out and we put a little tube in and we just aspirate out that melted fat. So when these people walk out the door having had the laser lipo, they're smaller already than what they were when they walked in the door. Now the Zeltique people, the fat freezers, they're gonna look the same when they walk out the door. They're gonna gradually see that fat going down. But these guys, it's amazing because they walk out the door and I always tease them and I say, well, you left part of you in, in my office. That's the little buckets of fat that we've taken out of them. And I'm like, you left the good part with me and they got to take the, the better part home. Now, now Mary Beth, what is the average age uh, people you treat and, and do you treat under 18? I have not treated anybody under the age of 18 yet with either modality. Um, it would, for me, it would be a matter of sitting here and being able to establish what's the maturity of the person and basically, uh, you know, are they going to be able to participate correctly in the care? Because especially with this one, there is some, some care issues that we have to, to worry about. And I'm a big believer in saying that these are procedures are not a substitute for healthy diet and exercise. And so if the person isn't going to do the healthy diet and exercise, I mean, basically at the end of the day, your body says, I took in this many calories and I burned up this many calories. And if this number is consistently higher in the amount of calories taken in, then what's going to happen is your body's going to say, where do I still have fat cells? And let's put that fat in those fat cells. And you're going to get bigger somewhere else. So I don't want a teenager to say, gee, you know, this is the easy way out. It seems easy, but you actually do have to be able to do follow the diet and the exercise recommendations or you're going to end up getting bigger somewhere else. But we've had patients as young as 20 years old or 18 years old coming in. And I think the oldest lady that we've did actually was about 70 years old. She was adorable. She was uh, going to her exercise class and noticed that everybody else in exercise class, when they lifted up their arms, their love handles showed. So she went home and she looked in the mirror and her love handles showed too and she didn't love that. So she came in, she came to one of my seminars and she said, you know, can you fix this? And I said, yes, we can. And we did her and the next day after we did her, she went out and walked five miles. So that's a good example of how there's not a lot of downtime with this one. People are back into their regular activities by the next day. Usually we do a lot of cases on Fridays and they'll be back to work on Monday. But people tell me the next day they're doing their yard work, they're doing their housework, they're going to their kids' sporting events, they're doing their shopping. So it's, it's pretty amazing even that even if this one is a little bit more invasive, we're still able to get people back into their life activities very, very quickly. Fritz, what do you make of all this? I, I think it's amazing. I was curious. <laughs> as to, I was curious again as to uh, what is the name of your office and where is it and what is the phone number and are you on the internet and uh, uh, there's really a lot to, for lack of a better word, to digest. There and is a lot of information here, so the best and way it's all to new, do never it. Heard of this. Well, a lot of people are aware of it, but there are certainly many people who this is very new to them. But they're curious and they want to learn more. Mm -hmm. One of the best ways that you can get more. My not, my office is called the New You Center for Advanced Medical Aesthetics, is that and y -O -U? everything Y O U. So New N E W Y O U. What, it's the easiest way to get more information is look me up on my website, which is Dr. Mary Beth Mudd, M U D D dot com. And even if you look into Mary Beth Mudd, it's going to bring it up probably pretty quick if you do some type of an internet type of a search. But that has lots of information. We're actually in the process of redoing our website. So in about two months, we're going to have all kinds of pictures to be able to show people of both the laser lipo patients as well as the Zeltique patients. So it's pretty, we're pretty excited and about what is, getting that. What is that. the laser version cost? The laser version depends on the area. Um, it may go anywhere from about uh, $1,500 to probably about $5,000, depending again on mm -hmm. how involved sure. involved it is. You've got not only the technology of the laser, but you have me personally doing all of the work. Right. Where this one, I can put the person on the machine, make sure everything's going well. And there's actually a little beeper that connects me to the machine and the patient, mm -hmm. so then I can go into another room and then you know the patient can just sit here. So we're able to keep the cost a little bit lower no. on this one. If I wanted to get rid of the little line and kugel bulge <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the love handles, would, sure. that, would that be two separate trips or would they be all be done in the same it time? It depends on how close the area is. Really the limiting fact when we're doing the laser lipo is the amount of anesthesia that we're using. Mm -hmm. uh, we use a medicine called lidocaine. It's very safe as long as you're careful not to overdose the person. 
So what I do is I tell people, well, we get their height and their weight, and I'm able to kind of calculate from their weight what would be a safe amount, as well as like how close are the areas and how big of an area are we doing. So we've had people we've done a couple of areas on. If somebody says, hey, I want my entire tummy, so we go from the, you know right underneath the ribs all the way down to, to where their thighs are and out to the side, that's probably going to be one day's worth of anesthesia there, and we probably would then have them wait a few more days if you came and said, gee, I also want my love handles done, or right. somebody said, I want my, my legs done at the same time. We would probably go ahead and break those down. So to me, it's just a safety thing, as to right. say, because we love the idea of being able to uh, do it in the office with that local, because it's just so much easier for people to recover from, because they don't have to recover then from that general anesthesia. Most of us who have had general anesthesia know that kind of loopy feeling, and we feel sick afterwards, so it's really nice to be able to right. save patients that type but of thing. But on this one, you see the results when you walk out. You see the results. Even though I had to put some of that medicine in there to be right. able to get it numb, so there's some swelling. I tell people number one side effect when we're looking at the laser lipo is the swelling. But it's amazing. We will have 70% of that swelling gone at the end of a month. I tell patients the goal here is always to say we want you to look smaller, you have your clothes fit better, and you look smaller You know when we're all said and done with this thing. And at 70% gone in a month, I mean, we have amazing pictures that we have of patients that even one month later are considerably smaller that you know, and, that no stars. Pictures. and no stars and no scars <laughs> there will be a little tiny scar just big enough to get this for thing that, in there right? okay. mm -hmm. and that's it and so for most people those scars are so tiny they'll look almost like they had a little mole or a little inflamed hair follicle type of a thing uh, i don't make cuts like this when you have linear cuts they look like scars. Yeah. I tell people Mother Nature makes things round. We have round freckles, we have round right. moles, and so if we keep them round, they look very natural. And if you don't know what to look for, you probably aren't going to be able to tell that it was okay. done. One of the other tricks that I do is I don't tend to make the, the holes symmetrical, so I don't tend to make them exactly the same on side to side right. because that's a dead giveaway. Mother Nature never gives you something that's oh, symmetrical. Right. Mary Beth, this has been so much. At my, this is the least I've ever spoken on one of these shows. I haven't said a thing for the last thirty minutes. <laughs> you have to get Fritz your card on the way out. Have you ever worked on an owl? <laughs> you have to do that. We are going to come back on Friday. If you can absorb all that information, you're better than I am. But you can check us out on Facebook, and we'll link it to Mary Beth's uh, website. It is the Exchange Marion. Uh, boy, I've forgotten everything. We're out of here. DGIF. <laughs> See you tomorrow.